guys, so this is Annie. Hi guys! <laughs> and, and we're going to be cooking with intent. So tomorrow night, um, our friend is having a party and it's kind of like a love sucks, we hate Valentine's Day party. So they asked us to do the cooking and me and Annie have shared hours upon hours in this mm -hmm. kitchen eating, f <laughs> eating food and complaining about love and talking about love in general. So I thought she'd be the perfect person to help. So we're going to be making tarts, we're going to go over each ingredient, how you can use them to kind of bring love to yourself or en enhance your love life in a special kind of way. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so for this recipe you're going to want to use raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries. I recommend if you're making these tarts for a lover, you would want to use the strawberries and raspberries. Strawberries are going to represent love. Um, I cut them into little heart shapes to symbolize love. And raspberries, because of their awesome color, they're also known as an aphrodisiac. Blackberries we're going to be using tonight because this is a love sucks party, so I thought it would be a kind of cool color to use, um, but still keep with the bear theme. You're also going to want to use ground cinnamon. And ground cinnamon use, is used in love spells and love sachets. It brings love to you and helps you love yourself. Um, I have cayenne pepper here because you're going to want to use cayenne pepper if you're making this for a lover. It spices up your love life and enhances sex because it has a good way of getting the blood flowing, if you guys know what I mean. Um, we're using honey tonight because honey is good in helping you love yourself and giving you beauty inside and out. And since we are making these for people who are kind of against love. We want to bring love into their life, whether it's them loving themselves or them loving someone else. So that's why we're using honey. We are using chocolate because who doesn't like chocolate covered strawberries for Valentine's Day, but also chocolate is an aphrodisiac. So awesome. If you don't want to use the cayenne pepper, if you want to use it um, for your friends or you're using it for a party like this, I would recommend using ginger. Ginger is awesome. It will give it a spice and it just tastes really great. Okie dokie. So right now we are filling our dough in our tart pan. A tart pan is basically a smaller version of a muffin pan or a cupcake tray. Um, you can use any sort of buttery dough. Right here we have like a store-bought crescent roll dough, but you can use a biscuit mix. You can use pie crust. You can make your own dough. But basically we're kind of looking for more of a buttery flavored dough. That kind of makes it flaky and extra delicious and all of that, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm just filling in the last one or two, and then we're gonna put them in the fridge to chill and make them nice and cold. Okay guys, so you're gonna wanna turn your heat to low at first, and you're gonna wanna start adding your berries. So Annie's gonna do that. Once you have your berries all in there, you're just gonna wanna let them sit for a while on low until they start to bubble, and then you can turn the heat up. We're also gonna be adding the cinnamon. If she could open it. And cinnamon is also for friendship, love. I mean, just because it's Valentine's Day doesn't mean that you have to run and go find someone to love. It doesn't matter. Um, these are great to make with your friends. Then I'm adding honey. Like I said before, honey is for beauty inside and out. You're going to want to add a nice amount of honey because berries, especially ones that aren't in season, are going to be a little tartar than others. Annie, can you just grate up some of the ginger? So ginger is to add a little bit of a spice to the recipe, especially since we're doing it with friends. Or for friends, you don't want to add the cayenne pepper because that's for sex and love magic. This is just a little bit nicer, it's a little easier, um, and it's not so spicy. As she is doing that, I am just going to add a little tiny bit of the chocolate powder this is unsweetened, all-natural um, cocoa powder. So now we're going to let that simmer up, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. We're going to let that simmer, we're going to turn the heat up, and once it gets all mushy, we're going to mash it up with a potato masher, okay? Mash, mash, mash. <laughs> mash, mash. Okay guys, so right now I'm just mashing it up. And you're going to notice that it gets really watery because all of the juices are coming out because of the sweetener we put in here. And this smells so good. It smells like chocolate covered strawberries, but better because we added ginger to it, which really brings it out. 
So while you're smashing it, you want to think of the intent that you're putting in there. So if you're making these for a boyfriend or a partner or a girlfriend or anything like that, you're going to want to focus on all that love and passion and think of all the good times that you guys have had together. You don't want to think of any of the negative thoughts when you're making this. If you're making this for a friend's party or doing it for, you know, an anti-Valentine's Day, what I'm going to be focusing on is inner beauty and outside beauty and kind of the thought of loving yourself and not worrying about the need to have someone in your life at this time. The filling isn't exactly the consistency that I want it to be. Sometimes the berries can be a little bit juicier. So you're going to want to add cornstarch to the mixture. You just need, um, I mean, half a tablespoon will do to thicken this up. A little bit more if it's not getting to where it needs to be. I also added a little bit of confectioner sugar because it wasn't as sweet as I necessarily like it to be. While I'm getting this done, Annie is going to tell you guys one of her worst Valentine's experiences, so enjoy. Well, about five years ago when I was 16 years old, um, I had a boyfriend at the time, and I thought I was being totally adorable, and I made him this little card, I made him this cute little present, I won't really say what it is, but I brought it over to his house, I walked there, and it was a mile away because no one would drive me. And it looked like it was going to rain all day, but it still it didn't, so the day was still okay. And I gave it to him, and his parents weren't home, so I was kind of sneaking over there, I guess. And I guess he kind of liked it. He was a new boyfriend, so it was still kind of iffy. And then his parents came home. Luckily enough, right? So then I had to go through a window, and he kicked me out, and I had to go through a window. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just imagining her crawling through a window. <laughs> and I was, and then it started pouring rain, and I was stuck for 45 minutes on a street corner in the rain by myself before anyone could pick me up. So, lovely Valentine's Day for me, 16 years old. That's so sweet. I know. So, so sweet, crawling through a window on Valentine's Day. Yes. After walking a mile to yes. the guest house. So, um, I definitely want to hear from all of you guys in the comments. Leave me a comment explaining to me what your worst Valentine moment was, because I always love to hear those stories, and it makes me feel so much better about my life. <laughs> well, this is thickening up, so we'll be back to you guys in a little bit with how to fill them. A blob for beauty. You see? Yeah, just make it so it's like enough, too. Okay, guys. So, this is so right now we just cast our own honey love spell. Back in folklore, women who are trying to find love or get over a broken heart, um, they would make this mixture of, it's mostly honey, but it's honey, cinnamon, and freshly grated ginger. And they would take a spoonful of this or put it in their tea, so they would help them find love in that way. And so we made this to drizzle on the top of our little tarts just for, you know, some extra flavor, and we made this with really special intent, and we focused all of our energies, all of our loving energies, and tied a red ribbon or a string around the cup that you make it in. Okay, guys, so we're going to start pouring our stuff in, our tart filling in. I preheated the oven to 350, but you can set it to whatever directions on the package or whatever the recipe calls for. We're going to be baking these for about 15 minutes, but you just want to make sure that you keep an eye on them because the filling and the type of dough that you use can alter how long it takes. So I'm just going to start filling these, and then Annie is going to put our honey mixture on the top. While I was filling these, I wanted to tell you guys a funny Valentine's Day story of mine. So, my first big Valentine's Day ever, the first Valentine's Day that I was actually, like, excited to have Valentine's Day, it was my sophomore year, and I was supposed to be going on a date, and I was really, really excited. I was like, it was going to be my first, like, actual go-out-to-eat, you know, date. I know, sophomore year, I'm kind of a loser. But, but um, I was really excited and really nervous. And I went to the place, and I waited there, and I actually had to have my friend drive me, because I didn't have a car at the time. So I got dropped off, and back then not a lot of people had cell phones, so I had no cell phone, no communication. And I sat there waiting, and waiting, and waiting, until it got, yeah, until it got completely dark. And I was so mad. 
And this is actually a, a kind of a lesson story that you guys can learn from. So I was so pissed, and I was so mad, and I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna be pissed, I'm gonna bitch this guy out, like, I'm gonna be so mad. I got home, and I had a bunch of missed calls on my house phone. Found out that the guy that I was waiting for was in a car accident, <gasps> and actually, yeah, what? and actually ended up in the hospital. And but the really sweet thing is that I had gone there, and he had decorated his hospital room <laughs> for for oh Valentine's Day, and he gave me my present. And so I actually felt, you know, like really bad for, yeah. for being an asshole. I, like I was seriously like in the in the car at home, and I was so upset. I was like cursing his name. I was like, "Oh, f you! I hate you so much! Like, I hate people and all in a huff." But it turned out that I shouldn't have gotten so angry and I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. So was he okay? Yeah, he was fine. Oh, it was God. just you know one of those things where you're like just a miscommunications, and that's the thing that I love about cell phones that I tell people. Like, I know it's kind of cool to think that we're like the last generation to know what it's like to not have like a portable phone. Isn't that weird that you think about like going out and like meeting people without having a cell phone? Yeah, phone? and I, I didn't have a cell phone until I was like almost 17. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, sophomore year. That was actually when I got, I think, my first cell phone, so. So anyways guys, so these are all filled. We're just gonna finish them up, put them in the oven, and we'll show you when they're done, okay? Drizzly, 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 drizzly on top of the tarts. Drizzly, drizzly, we have one song. more, and that was my drizzle song. Okay guys, so here's the finished product. We have to finish powder sugaring all of them, get them all packaged for tomorrow night. I want to thank Annie again for sharing her Valentine mishaps with us. New problem. <laughs> and um, whatever you guys are doing this Valentine's Day, whether it's spending it with friends, having an evening with your significant other, or hey, not yet, those aren't for us. So, so having a night with your significant other, or just being alone, remember to fill your day with love and treat yourself to something awesome like these tarts. So love and light. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.